if you're a photographer like I am, where uh, you do videos like we do here on the Robert and Rocky show, uh, you need to store this stuff somewhere. And uh, you know, you, yeah, you can use a bunch of Seagate drives like we have at home, but that's not really smart for storing your stuff. Uh, Drobo has a better way to do it. And Thomas Hawk, my friend, loves the Drobos. We're gonna take a look at their latest and uh, find out how this is a smarter way to store video and photos. Who are you? My name is Mario Blandini. I'm a VP of Marketing here at Drobo. And uh, 20 plus years ago, I spent some time in the Marine Corps as a technology guy and I've been doing it ever since. And this is probably the most fun job I've had working for a cool company like Drobo. So I, I know what a hard drive is. I know what SSD is. Most people probably have a concept of what those things are. What makes, what is Drobo? Well, Drobo is a storage enclosure. So you do put hard drives into it. It's not like hard drives in the sense that it makes all the hard drives turn into a large virtual drive and you get protection in case one of those fails. Now you mentioned before that footage that you take is priceless and the time that you spent editing it, even more priceless. Yeah. So you wanna protect yourself from a hard drive failure. With Drobo technology, you can tolerate a drive failure, even two hard drive failures, and I never have to worry about your data. So in one of these uh, Drobo boxes, what model is this that we have on the desk here? This is the latest and greatest Drobo 5D, which is a built from the ground up uh, revolutionary product of Drobo that not just has hard drives, but an option for solid state drive technology that gives you the best of both, capacity and performance in one system. Because we've had lots of photographers who've been using Drobos for years, especially video people. They need performance and applications aren't just capacity anymore. They want a database to manage all their content. Uh, a, a product like this gives you the capacity and the performance and you don't have to worry about the safety of it because it is protected from failure. So, it, it, first of all, how much is this model? This one, $849. It includes a two meter Thunderbolt cable. And now what makes these products great is they have two Thunderbolt ports allowing you to chain and create uh, a great cable management solution on your desk. If you're editing, you can have your display and other devices downstream with these or chain multiple Drobos together to have massive capacity. So if you have a new Mac, you have a Thunderbolt uh, uh, connector and mm -hmm. that uses the Thunderbolt cable. Um, Thunderbolt cables are 50 bucks because yeah, I bought a couple of them. <laughs> so. Yeah, and that's why we want to make sure when we say we're 849 includes a Thunderbolt cable because the worst thing you want to do is you want to get the thing home, you want to plug it in right away and start using it. And uh, so we want to create a great customer experience that way and make sure it comes in the box. But that doesn't include any drives, right? No, it doesn't include drives. And the great thing about a Drobo is you can mix and match drives. Something that we really revolutionized back when we launched the company was the ability to take any three and a half inch drive, and this product, the 5D, has three and a half inch drives. Any one of them, capacity, the vendor, the firmware version, mix and match all that will create protected RAID storage. We call it Beyond RAID. Uh, something that you'd need to have a degree in IT to do or lots of time on your hands. Uh, and most creative people want to spend time creating, editing, producing, not messing around with the hardware. Where do we get uh, a Drobo drive? <laughs> well, Drobos are available uh, most anywhere you'd buy photo and video equipment or IT equipment for that matter. So Amazon, B&H Photo are popular places for creative folks, uh, CDW and other places on the IT side. Drobos are available uh, most anywhere you'd want to buy uh, computer products. Very cool. So this this device takes five, and wh what kind of drives do I need to order along with a yeah. Drobo? Well, specifically three and a half inch, which is the standard, SATA drives, which is the most common drive you'd put into a computer. So three and a half inch SATA drives, you can buy them of varying speeds. The best ones, for especially for demanding applications, 7200 RPM. You can find slower, power efficient ones that are less expensive, but if you want to use this thing, for uh, what it can do, 7200 RPM drives are the best. And you can put three uh, terabyte, you can buy three terabyte. You can put four terabyte drives in it. That's what's so terabytes. awesome. I've lost, yeah. lost track of what the bleeding edge of storage is. <laughs> oh yeah. So if I buy five four terabyte drives, that comes out to how many, uh, what's the virtual drive size then? A great question. This is where it confuses a lot of people because yeah. RAID can be confusing. With Drobo, the largest drive is uh, used for protection. All the rest of them are available for capacity. So if in that scenario, where they're all the same size, you'd have four drives that are used for capacity or 16 physical terabytes of storage. That's, that's really big. For most people, they can fit most of their stuff. So that scenario you talked about, where they have multiple drives laying around, condense it all onto one system, and now you have everything in one place, you can be editing in a second. Yeah, 
And now we get into backup strategy, right? That takes care of failure on one drive. So mm -hmm. if, a, if a platter dies or a, a Seagate drive goes haywire, it turns red, right? There's a light, a light array on the front of the uh, yeah. Drobo. That's one of my favorite things about this product. And I'm really more of an IT enterprise storage geek. I know how to do RAID, but my daughter doesn't. We have a video of my daughter adding dri drives to a Drobo because it's as simple as following easy instructions on the product. Red light would tell you that you need to add a drive here now. If you're over 95% full, you need to expand it. If you allow me, adding capacity to a drill because we're a virtualized system is something you can do on the fly. If I have small drives in, I can pull a small drive out when I get full, add a larger drive, and within 30 seconds, the system's expanded. All I had to do is know how to drive to work in the morning and operate a motor vehicle. Can I pull drives out while it's running? Oh, sure. That's the benefit of having a protected system. It, it's like having a drive failure, but you can pull it out hot, pop a new drive in, and it does everything on the fly. Wow. Having a Drobo uh, takes mm -hmm. um, care of the problem where a, a single drive fails. Uh -huh. Now I need to protect, back that data up because at Rocky's house we have a ton of video and Hell at yeah. my house we have a ton of video. <laughs> so I'm going to need like uh, two or three of these at each each house and then two or three of them here at Rackspace. I'm going to rotate them around. Yep. Right? Is that a smart uh, plan to do to deal with? Uh, you know, if my house burns down, I don't want to lose all my drives. Right? That's right. Well, there's lots of different types of protection that you want to do. The most common failure is going to be either user error or a hard drive failing. So how do you protect against those things? Uh, there's a lot of digital asset management mantras out there. One of them is 321. If you want to keep a file, you need three copies of it on two different types of devices, at least one of those offsite. And if you follow that, you'd never have to worry about a file getting corrupted because you have another copy. You never have to worry about a box crashing. Uh, or a hard drive crashing for that matter, because you have uh, two different devices, because one of them's off site, fire, flood, something like that, it will tolerate that as well. Now, honestly, not too many people do it. In fact, not too many people even do stage one, which is to protect their first copy. So most definitely protect your first copy, and a lot of people do use Drobo's for second and third copies as well, because you want to consolidate in one spot, why are having multiple hard drives laying around? We can do it on a Drobo. Yeah. So people who have a, a you know a DSLR like a Nikon 8000 or a Canon 5D Mark III like I do, uh, or that do video shows like Rocky and I mm -hmm. do, we we need lots of terabytes. Massive capacity. You know, no and that's doubt. why we need the big one. Yeah. But you guys have a new uh, small one as oh, well. Oh, absolutely. Right? So just like this big one, which has dual Thunderbolt ports and USB 3.0, so. No matter what system you're doing your creation on, Windows or Mac, we have you covered. We have the new Drobo Mini. Look at this. A carrying case. Everyone's talking to us uh, for years about how do I take something on the road? I actually need to ingest on the road, and I'm worried about the device I ingest to having a drive failure. This product was designed specifically for that. You'll see we have a magnetic face bait. It's also got the instructions there on the inside, and it uses two and a half inch drives to make it a small form factor. All that same beyond raid cool technology about being able to expand on the fly, protect automatically, it's built into this too, just in a very portable form factor. Now, how much is this one? Six forty nine, uh, including a one meter Thunderbolt cable. Okay, and do you need power for this, or can I use it? Like I was at the uh, Olympic Games, oh, yeah. and I'm sitting out in the stands, right, shooting, 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 and I need to offload my cards, and I I was actually watching the uh, you know. Uh, ESPN photographers, I mean, uh, there was photographers from all over the world that were doing this. We're just shooting uh, tons of gigabytes and then handing cards off to editors no who were sticking them in devices like this. Sometimes you don't have power around, right? That's right. So do you, need, do you need a power supply for this? Well, because this is multiple drives, we can't use bus power. Yeah. No, no, never to worry. We do have a design, and when uh, the product ships here, uh, the second half of September, we'll have a optional product accessory that will be a battery pack that will give you several hours of uh, power, like a lot of folks do when they're out on the road, to power this while you're doing your ingest. Very cool. Uh, how much is this one again? 649 and you do need to uh, have your own drives. You'll see what's cool about this. Like an SD card, the two and a half drives pop out. Like an SD card, you want to throw it in. Like I uh, mentioned here, any three and a half inch drive, no drive carriers. So you don't even need a screwdriver to uh, uh, screw it in. You take it and just pops right in. 30 seconds later, storage is up and running. You've got extra capacity. What are the drive sizes that are possible here? To yeah, two and a half today? inch physically. The biggest two and a half inch drive you're going to find these days that's in 9.5 millimeter or, or, uh, or shorter would be a one terabyte drive. So in this configuration, three times one terabyte, are uh, for data, one is your protection drive, but you don't have to think of it that way. Shove them in, we do that all automatically. Effectively, a three terabyte drive with protection. And for folks that are out there with an expensive camera and they, they spend a bunch of money to get on location, 
why skimp on a one three terabyte drive you can carry around when if that crashes everything you paid money for you lost now how, how does this compare to other devices because i go to the apple store and i see a twenty five hundred dollar uh, RAID 6 drive oh, yeah. that's uh, Thunderbolt as well. What's the difference there? Well, what makes Drobo different than any other storage device really is the ease of use and the simplicity. So people, especially creative people, flock to products like this because we have a cult following. People love it. It's not a product built for geeks. Now, I'm a geek and I love this stuff too, but I'd rather spend my time doing things with my computer rather than working on my computer. So that's the biggest thing that makes Drobo very different. Also, because you're allowed to mix and match the drives, it, it creates some affordability. Because if I tell you, hey, you gotta buy the drives from me, they're gonna go up in price over time or they're gonna stay the same price. In the open market off Amazon, B&H and other places, hard drives always go down in price and up in capacity over time. So you have the now freedom to be able to do that. Because you can expand infinitely on the system, now you can do that forever. You don't have to buy another enclosure. You can buy larger drives in the future. So it really uh, saves you a lot of money in the long run that way. Yeah. Uh, Rocky and I are going to daisy chain a few of these because we uh, already have more than uh, 15 terabytes of media. Yep. Can we daisy chain through the Thunderbolt system? And how, how many can we daisy chain? Uh, up to the, the uh, technology spec, six total devices. Okay. So imagine over 100 terabytes on your desk. That's Is that enough, Rocky? Massive, okay. right? <laughs> and, and again, then if you want to create another chain, get a second Thunderbolt port. Let's say you have a Big Mac, not just a MacBook Pro. You have a Big Mac Pro, you can throw even more on there. So uh, it's super scalable in that regard. Another thing that makes these products different is our support for SSDs. And there's a new type of storage called SSD or solid state drive. It uses flash memory instead of a spinning disk. Yep. And it provides great performance acceleration. The challenge is it's relatively low capacity and high cost. So like hot sauce for us, you can add a very little amount of this and really make everything taste a whole lot better. So how, how big is this and what do I order when I order my Drobo? Because I want to I want to make sure I have, have a high, high performance. No doubt about it. So this is an M SATA SSD. We'll have an option available from Drobo or we have a, a list of approved uh, SSDs that you can buy uh, in our knowledge base on our website. Okay. So you get one of these. This one happens to be a 60 gig. Uh, one, you can take it, and on both of these models, the 5D and the Mini, there is a small trap door down here. You take the trap door off, and you can install that in the system. What it gives you now is the benefit of solid state drive, so really rapid response to things like a catalog uh, in one of your content management systems, but you don't lose the capacity of the hard drives. Yeah. So it's really the best of both, and that's something that's uh, really revolutionizing personal storage again. What we did for protecting hard drives five years ago, we're now taking to the next level by incorporating the latest technology. Since Drobo's been out a few years, I think I, I came and saw you guys back when I worked with uh, Rocky at Podtech back mm -hmm. uh, five years ago. Mm -hmm. Uh, so you guys have been around a while. Yeah. The drives were really noisy. Has, has that problem been fixed? Well, the, the thing about Drobo is the Drobo itself isn't very noisy, but the hard drives you put in there uh, can be a little bit noisy. Uh, these two new products are going to be the quietest Drobos ever. And I think a lot of it's because folks like you guys are shooting live video. You've got your devices live. You need them to be really, really quiet. So expect these to be the quietest Drobos ever made. And this is a new series of hardware. I, I've, I've ha I have friends who've had some problems with their yeah. Drobos. Has the reliability problems been worked out of the system? So are these really uh, ready for ESPN to use them on? Oh, the yeah. Well, I mean, you got to love the, uh, the social media age because uh, support now is Twitter, where people oh, yeah. get, uh, get their uh, we support that We know that, that Rackspace. We, no no we doubt about it. And, and, and Drobo, it. we are a Rackspace customer, so our Drobo.com lives on Rackspace. We love that. The, uh, the reliability uh, has been proven out through more than 225,000 customers around the world. So we have a, a great number of units. And compared to other storage companies, that's quite a number of customers. And uh, you'll find uh, that our innovation, especially in these products, has really built a lot of that learning in. So we're, we're definitely not a young company. Uh, this being a, uh, our second major technology revol revolution in personal storage. And we're doing the same thing on the IT side. So uh, we have customers like Rackspace who use our products on the IT side, and those have to be bulletproof. We talked a lot about uh, Thunderbolt on these two yeah. products, but like our TriCasters can only use USB 2. Uh -huh. Is it comp compatible with older buses or well, do you have to have a brand new yeah. Mac to use these? That's the great thing. Uh, not everybody can uh, afford a brand new Mac and there's a lot of PC users out there. I don't want to hate on uh, uh, those folks. Uh, everybody needs storage. And uh, if you're an Adobe user, uh, you might be on either platform. Both of these have a USB 3.0 port or what they call super speed USB. 
and this is backward compatible to 2.0. So if you don't have a 3.0 interface, this cable plugging into a USB 2.0 port works just great. And I can move it back and forth between our TriCaster and our Mac, and it, it, it knows how to deal with that. As long as you have the volume formatted in a way that both operating systems can see it. So if you're, uh, you format NTFS, and on your Mac you have uh, an NTFS driver loaded, you could do that. Otherwise, you could format it FAT32, and both of them see it just fine. Very cool. Where do I learn more about it? You can go to drobo.com. We have a couple cool videos out there. Uh, as well as all the, the product information and some customer use cases out there of folks who talk about exactly why they love Drobo because it's easy to get passionate about this. You're passionate about the data that you capture, you edit and deliver. Those assets you know, are really important. Uh, being able to protect those and have peace of mind is important. Well, if it s saves one uh, three terabyte drive on you, it'll uh, pay for itself right away. Yeah, right? If, it, if it saves just you know, a couple of pictures of your kids. I mean, a lot of people say that that stuff's priceless. So uh, uh, I, I agree, it, it feels fun working for a company that can help folks out protect things that they probably aren't protecting just yet. Very cool, spell out Drobo by the way. D-R-O-B-O, drobo.com. Very cool, thanks for coming oh, on. Thanks, that's great. Mm -hmm.